Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for Kat. And uh, let's take a look at your situation. You say, I found out about your website yesterday and decided to contact you. I would like to sit for the TOEFL IBT exam, and the goal I set for myself is 100. Actually, I need the exam to apply for a master's degree, and that's why I'm now looking for different ways to prepare myself for the exam. And you know what? You got some good writing skills here. I'm serious. Uh, I mean, you set a very high goal, but I like how you're writing. You have very good control of your vocabulary, your grammar, your sentence formation. Then you say, I have several questions. Notice how you use the colon after the word questions there. And then you have the two ideas there. Even near the end of your email, you say, in a nutshell, I mean, you have a conclusion. I mean, even the, the email that you sent me, as simple as it is, it tells me a lot about you and your English uh, preparation. So, first of all, I want to congratulate you on whatever you've done so far to prepare for, uh, you know, university study and to, to improve your English proficiency because it's actually pretty good. So, number one, you say, I've never done even a practice test. So, do you have any pre-test exams which may help you and me determine my level in the different sections of the exam? The answer is yes, I do. I can help you in that area. You say, number two, it's not a question but more of a thought. I don't know why I am super scared of the TOEFL. That's why I'm looking for unusual methods of preparation. I try to prepare myself, but honestly, I do work and I tend to procrastinate. So, in a nutshell, there are these are my questions and thoughts. I would really love it if you can help me. Uh, I can help you. Now, you say unusual methods for preparation. I mean, I don't think that that you're implying that the way that I teach the TOEFL is unusual. Uh, I don't see myself as being unusual. I see my, my TOEFL course as being very simple. It's a seven-step course which helps you in your vocabulary, your pronunciation, your grammar, your reading, listening, speaking, and writing proficiencies. Seven. To me, these seven steps are essential in helping you reach the goal that you seek, which is 100, right? Now, I don't know why... I mean, I have seen other courses on the internet and nobody structures it like I do, you know, like a seven-step system. But obviously other TOEFL courses, they're also going to help you with your vocabulary. They're going to help you with your grammar and so on and so forth. But um, I, I do think I have a great course, though. Don't get me wrong. I, I know there's a lot of great courses on the internet, but I also know that my course has been very effective in helping a lot of people reach their TOEFL goals, I'm telling you. Uh, I have taught thousands of students since 2009. No joke. Thousands and thousands of students. So to, to help you a little bit more, uh, I think probably what you want to do is, is when you get into my, my online course, in those seven areas, there's really seven objectives that you want to set for my course. If you can do these seven things, I think you have a very good chance of scoring high on the TOEFL. Number one, in the vocabulary section of my course, you want to make sure you can score 85 percent on the vocabulary final exam in my course because that will tell you how much you know of the 1,700 college level words that I have. Now I got a good feeling based on your writing that you're going to do fine there. Now Kat, in pronunciation, here's your goal. You want to achieve 5.1 out of 7 on my pronunciation post test which means you have a barely detectable accent. You talk pretty much like a native speaker and you will not get scored lower in the speaking section of the test because of unclear pronunciation. Your tone will be good, your pacing, your grouping will be good. You will be enunciating correctly all of the vowel and consonant sounds of American English and on and on. In the grammar part of my course, you want to go through all the lessons and particularly make sure you complete all the practice exercises in grammar 
uh, lesson number seven. Now, in any part of my course, Kat, if you're doing something in the course, you can go, hey, Michael, this is too easy for me. Skip it. Don't worry about it. It's true. Certain parts of my course, based on your, your goal, will be too easy. And then other parts of my course will be exactly what you need. Okay, now let's talk about listening. In the listening part of my course, uh, your goal is to score around 85 to 90 percent on my listening practice tests, and they can be quite difficult, and that means that you have very strong listening comprehension and you have a good chance of scoring high on the actual TOEFL exam. Now, in the reading part of my course, you want to do really one major, one major goal is you want to increase your reading speed to at least 300 words a minute with 80% comprehension. And that's, that's going to be important for you because during the integrated speaking and integrated writing sections, you have to read and read quickly. And you also have a reading section uh, of the, core, of the uh, exam. And also you need to have a pretty good reading speed. And as you increase your reading speed and you keep your comprehension about 85%, you actually have fewer distractions, I think, than if you're reading slower. So that would be a great goal. I think in the reading part of my course. Now the writing part of my course, now relax, uh, I just added 40 independent writing practice tests. I also have 10 integrated practice tests which give you a total of 50 so you can get a lot of feedback with your writing through my course. Now there's also a lot of lessons, skill building lessons designed to help you improve uh, how you organize and develop your responses for the integrated and independent writing tasks. So you can definitely get, make some improvements in those areas. Your goal in the writing section of my course is to consistently score around 24 points on the writing part of, uh, of my test, of my practice exercises, 24 out of 30. And in the speaking area, like the writing, I have a lot of different speaking practice tests. You can record your voice online, no joke, uh, I have a VoxyPop discussion group and you can record your audio files directly at that site and then I will listen to your speaking practice test to give you some feedback. Now whether it's writing or speaking, we'll give you a score, we'll also tell you specifically what lessons you need to focus on to get better. So in the speaking part of my course, your goal is to consistently score around 26 points out of 30 on my speaking practice test and that's going to be very good for you for the TOEFL. So if you can meet those objectives in the seven parts of my course, guess what? You have a very good chance of scoring 100 out of 120 on the TOEFL. Now I have no crystal ball here. I have no 100% guarantee. I can't guarantee anything. However, you are very likely to achieve those goals. And by the way, you don't really have a score right now, but as a general rule, whatever your score is right now, if you use my course for a month and you use it and you study it and you work on it a lot, you'll probably improve about five to 10 points for each month that you diligently and extensively use uh, my course. Okay, Kat, anyway, sorry for the long video. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Happy holidays. This is the year. This is December 2012. Think about it. Aren't we glad to be alive here? Think about you, the technology we have. You found me on the internet. You sent me an email. You told me your story. What am I doing? I'm answering you at YouTube and giving you my own... I mean, think about how grateful we can be about the technology that we have currently uh, in our society. And anyway, have a great day, a great week, a great month. Happy holidays to you and your family.